welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm hungry. <laughs> we are having lunch right after church. Um, okay, so do it in the chapel first. Mm. With Christmas coming, we're using this week John 3.16. RJ, what does John 3.16 say? Hang on, i got to flip the kitchen. That's not what it says, but my mouth is full. For God so loved the world that he gave his only, gave his one and only son, that who shall, that, that, who who shall, who? That whoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Yep. Okay. Jesus is the reason for the season. Right? I need elbow room. This is my space. <laughs> okay. Alright, in the barn stalls. Thursday night we checked in two kids. What happened? One of them passed away. Yep. Last night just curled up and went to sleep. Is eating good and stuff. Just yep. So there's no telling what was going on with him anyway. Correct. Uh -huh. So, all right. Um, what was our little dog catastrophe? What? Um. Okay, so I've been taking the dogs out on runs. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday. The um, Mustangs were out instead of just Precious and Whiskey and all them. So, uh, Carl and Wilbur hadn't been gotten out because of the holiday. And I hadn't let them, like, run. They'd been out in the sheep pen and all that. And they, they just have so much energy. And they're so large. One step in a small area just kind of, I mean, the whole pig pen is not small. But it's too small for them to run in. Um, so, I take out the sheep pasture. Which is fine, but sometimes they get in trouble because they run and the sheep just want to get away from them. Not that they're chasing the sheep. They're just running. So I like to take them out on the pasture. And yesterday, I walked an eighth of a mile down into the pasture by the pond. Nothing eventful in that. We've done it a hundred times. We get down to the pond and um, star... <laughs> and Wilbur first start. Wilbur barks at her. Star stomps and starts snorting, which gets his attention. Which he then barks for Carl. Carl comes as backup. The two of them are going at it, and she farts, raises her tail, and takes off after him. And they just freak out because she's like coming at them, <laughs> and they took off and hightailed it all the way back to the barn. I was still down at the pond, and I called RJ, and I said, RJ, I'm losing sight of the dogs are up over the hill. Can you go to the gate and let them in? <laughs> I lost sight of them, and then RJ picked up. I don't know what the heck happened. What happened? Well, they just come running up to the house. And? I let them in the gate. And you I ran mean, up there on the horse. Yeah, I ran up there on the horse. I mean, it's not, a a, it's not like right there by the barn. No. I rode up there on a horse, let them in the gate. And I need to go in the house and get me a bottle of water and stuff. So I get to the house, and uh, they barrel through the door. I wasn't going to let them in the house. I was just going to leave them in the sheep pasture. But they barrel through the door. I get my stuff, and they're hiding underneath the table. <laughs> let me remind you, this table is like, well, we're I'm sitting. sitting it. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah, I'm on one side. And this seats. is the edge, folks. Yeah. I mean. And That's this is it. the edge. This is it. This <laughs> is it, folks. I mean, it's smaller than their cage. Yes. Now, it has two leaves that extend out. Don't misunderstand. If we can make it bigger, but on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't use it big because there's normally just the two of us sitting here at any given time. So, yeah. So, they're hiding on the table. Whole sh table shaking. I get all my stuff. I got to go outside. And I had to coax them out. I hollered at him and said, just put him in the pig pen. And he's like, I can't get him out the door. Yeah, they wouldn't come out of the house. <laughs> so. Mm, they knew they'd done it now. The horsey was much bigger than them. and uh -huh. They got whooped, huh? They thought they did. All she did was Nobody snort touched at any, any of them. I promise. But she just snorted at them and ran towards them. And that was it. So, needless to say, I think she's been practicing on coyotes, don't you think? Possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I didn't even get to see Bidet's camp, which is what I went down there to do. 
<laughs> so, yeah. All right, anything else in the barn stalls? Mm -hmm. Not really. No. Okay, so mending fences. Truck got fixed. I think we passed that, right? What? What do we have to fix? Anything? Mm. No. Doll. Yeah. Oh, Precious went to cribbing on the new stalls, so we had to get some new. more wood put up there. Yep, we're going to put some uh, hot sauce on it. Huh? Okay. Let her feel the burn. Yep. As long, I hope she doesn't like hot sauce. I really do. I know. Last horse we did it would just sit there and lick it off. Loved hot sauce. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Go, 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 just put that up two days ago. Yeah. I haven't been up there since then. Mm -hmm. This turkey is 16. Nope. No. Um, almost 20 years old. Okay, folks. 19 years old. 1999. Sayers old enough to vote. Gum, 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 gum. Who you vote for, Turkey? Oh, he's, he's not saying. He's not ruining his Christmas presents. <laughs> Anybody who's but, against turkey hunting is who he's voting for. Yeah. Anybody who's against turkey hunting. Gum, 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 gum. Okay. What else? Mending fences. Do we put up the new wood? Right? Yep. Well, that's a nice chicken nuggets if anybody wants one. Yeah. Oh, you do? Thank you. Here you go. Mm -hmm. um, anything else that we have to fix? I've been decorating on the house. Oh, there was that one thing. What? I don't know. I was just hoping you remember. One one thing? Yeah. What that one, one thing? thing? I don't know. I was just making stuff up. Yep. Okay. So, Yarn Farm. Um, we're getting ready for Wamego, which is January 5th. Right? So if you're anywhere near Kansas, um, the northern part of Kansas, is, it's in Wamego, Kansas, and it's a one-day event, and it runs from, I think, 10 to 4, like or 9 to 4. A month and a week away, so that makes mm -hmm. like, we're less than 45 days away, folks, and I haven't even started yet. I know, and I've been on him to start, so we'll have tons of fleece there. I'm teaching two different classes. One is a Tunisian in the round. Oh, hey, there's a fuzzy footrest down here. The other I think is, is a, uh, which is actually a two yeah. yarn class. How did Tanisha crochet with two yarns? It's um, got to be Wilbur. Carl's not this fussy. And then, uh, <laughs> what else do they mean? Huh? <laughs> and then what's my, oh, and how do you process a fleece with no fancy equipment? None. Um, I, Does Carl any of, have a any of you, Wilbur? That, Wilbur has a collar on. Carl's yeah. between my legs. He's not over there with you. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Carl. Carl's got his nose right here. Oh, You're this right. is Wilbur. They got, they didn't get in trouble. That's, the cats got in trouble. The it's cats amazing. got in trouble, but if you raise your voice, they cow under the table and make it shake like an earthquake, as you can see. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, uh, that's enough. Enough. RJ. Get him, get, him, get him to go over, over in their kennel. Come on. Go put him in their kennel. Come on, guys. Up here. Come no. On. Pop up here. Come on. I know go. you will, Carl. He's just, uh. Hey, say they hello. They can't see him. Say hello. His feet are still on the ground. Oh, who just stole? Oh, he's Wilbur stole. just took it. <laughs> All right. Guys, want a chicken nugget? Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Break it in half, please. Um. Ow, that easy. Tell them easy. Easy. They really are well behaved. It's just when I raise my voice, they lose it. And if they're outside and I raise my voice, sometimes they can pee all over themselves. So, yeah. And RJ tries to get them in trouble sometimes. It's highly possible that I enticed Carl onto the stool mm -hmm. with a chicken nugget. Yeah. So, anyway, um, we may go. Back to that. We'll have lots of fleece. I am cold. the other uh, oh, classes with fingers. I am, there's some things that you can do that you can process your own fleece without a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, what are you doing? It's static-y. This shirt is. Oh, your shirt is? Yeah, see what it 
I'm making your hair follow me. Oop, I can push your hair away too. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna telepathic. state the obvious. RJ did get a haircut and a shave, but no, his brains did not leave with that. He just looks about 12. He's still the 21-year-old dork he's always been. Look at this. I can make your hair, like, follow me. Look at this. Look at this piece is following. Cool. Do you really think that they want to see that on camera? Well, no. All these people watch. If they know it's not about <laughs> what we're talking about. No. But show them your pretty face and haircut. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, um, we'll have plenty of fleece. I'm going to teach two classes, the Tunisian and the round. I've got the hooks ordered, and they better come in. Last year, we had an issue with them. So, And, yeah, I'm ordering in November for January. Don't know why. Don't they come from, like, Italy or somewhere? They or come China. from Europe. China, Hong Kong. I don't know. They come from overseas. Well, it um, takes, like, 30 years to get them here. Nope. They're going to come on time this time. It takes months to get things from overseas. Anyway, mm -hmm. so these um, cups were supposed to be color changing. You're supposed to put things in. They're a ripoff, guys. They're a ripoff. Spent like five bucks for like twelve cups, okay? But they're supposed this cup is supposed to turn purple when you put something cold in it. That doesn't look like purple to you, does it? They Please don't, don't answer. Color. They're so they don't change color. I'm crazy. Um. Anyway, so we'll be doing Omega. If you're in the area, come see us. We even if just to say hi. Um, well, like I said, we have tons of fleece there. Um, and then, of course, I teach the classes. And hopefully we'll I'll have some soaps. Something. That's the whole point. Of I'll be it. making some bats, right? Um, and I'll have hand-spun yarn. So, don't know how much. I'm spinning. I'm so dizzy. I will be spinning. Okay, this is RJ's happy hour. <laughs> I'm so dizzy, my head is spinning. spinning. Yeah, that's what we talk about when you say we, we hand spin it. Okay. We gotta get to spin it. Anyway, all right, dizzy boy there. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh. All right, what's up next? In the uh, in the fields, right? Hey, hang on, there's two of you. There's I haven't me been. Too. Um, I haven't done anything with the garden. I did get some mums that somebody was going to throw away. It's cold outside, folks. And I know that the roots are still alive, so it's cold I'm outside, going folks. to plant them. But it is. It dropped from 65 this morning when I let the dogs out. Went in, took my shower, got ready for church, came back out here. It was 39. Yep, in all of a matter of a pot of coffee, <laughs> which mm -hmm. isn't saying a lot for me. huh? But RJ slept in. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's after in the fields? Because we really don't have anything in the fields other than the moms and the thing. So in the it's farmhouse. On all the right. Porch. No, on the porch is last, and that's if we have oh, a big thing. Well, I want to decorate it for Christmas. Ah, what was that? Well, I'm still in the process. Oh. We're in the farmhouse now, so will you stop it and talk about what? First off, why did you get this and this? I'll cut off. It's for a Christmas present for mom. Sister has come up with a really good one, and I am super excited, aren't I, son? Yeah. Matter of fact, we have to finish it up so that you'll get there on time because you have less than an hour. I don't have enough time to do my makeup and my hair. Oh my goodness! <laughs> a face only a mother could love. Yep. Yeah, because it's kind of getting any prettier. <laughs> yeah, that's because you don't get any beauty sleep. All right. Anyway, um, what else going on? Uh, Christmas is coming up, and in that case, I, I need am a lot of sleep. In the Christmas mood, we started decorating. My daughter helped me. We did all the Saint Nicholas stuff for December sixth. I got my daughter all of her stuff: her glass boots, which are ceramic. I made RJ ceramic boots. I just have to get the stitching done and the clear coat on them, and then um. His will be done. I have all the goodies packed and ready for St. Nicholas Day, right? I, I got would say, look, candies. I can see you, but I remember what happened the last time. <laughs> yeah, RJ's got a, a funny story from when we were putting up the Christmas decorations, huh? Okay, so my sister accidentally ordered. No, she didn't accidentally. She ordered something from Chewy.com, and they packed the wrong thing in her box. And she called them, and they said, donate it to a local rescue. 
Um, and it's like these little scratch pads for cats. Mm -hmm. And so um, she brought them to us to give to the cats out in the barn. I said, okay, fine. So um, we uh, had them in here. Well, it was that night, wasn't it? It was yes. Thanksgiving night. So we and I grab them and I go like this. I go, look, mom, I can and see you. They're like these corrugated cardboard things. That's why you cannot really see through them. Very good at all. All right, I can see like this much visibility. I mean, I have more visibility with this. I mean, I can see more through here, like this, than I could see through that. I was just. But I didn't know that. He so. says, "Look, mom, I can see you," and he's holding it up, and it covers your whole face. It's it's probably eighteen inches wide. Mm -hmm. No, and I've got it right up against my face. Okay, I've got Which it like right on. I my can't nose. see through it, so I don't know that it's right on his face. I've got Did it I? right on my face. I mean, shoved up to just me, and she walks up and she just goes whop, <laughs> right on my nose. She hit it so hard, my nose left an indention <laughs> on these cardboard deals. <laughs> I mean, like, didn't you hit it hard at all, guys. Yeah, she I smacked. Tried. I mean, she hauled off and she goes wow, boom. I did not I just pop. And what happened with your eyes? My eyes started water. I was like, you hit my nose. You hit my nose. I'm crying now. <laughs> he I can't. He's like, I'm crying. I'm crying. And I, <laughs> I can't stop. Uh, I can't stop. I'm crying. <laughs> like, you broke my nose. <laughs> I don't mind. If you have two black eyes in the morning, then you'll know I broke your nose. But I said I didn't break your nose. But I didn't know he had it, like, on his nose. And he, he always just put things out front. I never thought he would put it straight out. And I just was, you know, just pow, you know, just a tap. Oh, yeah, that was more <laughs> straight than a tap. That the thing we figured walk. out was it was right, like, my fist hit that cardboard right where his nose was. Huh? Yeah, it left an indentation. Like, because I just popped right in the center of that's it. That's where my nose was. And that's where his nose was. So, a combination. She hit my nose. And it left an indentation on him. It did. Not a big one, just a little one. It was about yay big. It was not. It was about this long. <laughs> yep. A little strike about this long. <laughs> but, yeah. But his eyes water. He's like, I'm crying. And I can't stop. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not really crying. It's just happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Moving on now. Yeah, it was funny. Right? Yep. Yeah, not really, but it was. We can laugh about it now, but it was I was <laughs> we were actually laughing about it just after it happened. Um anyway, so we've been decorating, right? We've got St. Nicholas stuff taken care of. I've got the bags of candies for our visitors. We're kind of traditional. Um, as in we are we believe to be Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas or Chris Klindle or whoever you Envision, um, the Christ child, whatever the you have bunny. to, the Easter bunny. um, you have to give a gift. Okay. A gift is love, love, whatever. So we do hard candies to everybody who shows up. Includes postman, FedEx, agents. <laughs> the dog said it anymore. <laughs> anyway, but <laughs> so the tree's up. That's done. I've just started getting. It's enough. <laughs> Son, stop. It's enough. It's fantastic. I can make dogs think I'm a turkey. No, they just think you're playing and they want to get you. <laughs> Son, it's enough. Look, I got moose. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, do you see what you started? I got Moose Poose, he's dirty. He needs a bath. He was supposed Ooh, to try and sleep with me. <laughs> he went out and rolled in something yesterday, and it was gross. Ooh, you know, that explains the stench. <laughs> I just let him out the front door while I was working on the truck, and he came back stinking. I don't know what he rolled in. Mm. Now you have to go take a shower, huh? It's possible. All right. Anyway, so we are getting ready for Christmas. Uh, on the porch. Talk. I'm not really, I'm just It's cold on the porch, folks. Just FYI. It's cold outside. Yep. It was so, 64 when we woke up. Now it's like 24. We've got soaps curing, right? Mm -hmm. I do have to go through and get stuff gathered for the shop, get my totes brought in, and get to work. Double up, well, well, We have one month. Double up, well, well, well. We have a month, right? Double up, well, 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 well. Anybody want a big-ass turkey? Double up, well, 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 well,
anyway we will see you later and don't forget that next weekend advent begins correct yep so all right we will see you and fall us in by nothing that's all i know merry christmas